Having said all that, there were some things I liked about this movie. Barry Pepper may not be subtle in this, but he takes to his role with vigor and conviction. He and Kim Coates have some good chemistry together as loyal friends. Unlike the pointless angled shots, the colored tints were an artistic choice that worked, with blue and purple shades distinguishing the cyclo regions from the greens, browns, and normal lighting of the human areas. The set design is excellent. The locations project a real sense of age and decay, and it's quite sobering to see libraries crumbling into dust, gloomy malls, and government buildings overrun with weeds. These locations are very atmospheric, and there are some cool stunts and pyrotechnics here and there. But the biggest selling point for me was John Travolta as Turl, the Cyclo Head of Security. I can forgive weak or cheesy performances if the actors are playing aliens. Take the 2008 remake of The Day the Earth Stood Still. Keanu Reeves' deadpan, somewhat wooden style is ideal for a stern alien who can't grasp human emotions. And you know, I like Keanu Reeves. He is very sincere and commanding in his roles, and was surprisingly emotive in The Lake House. I saw John Travolta's performance in much the same way. Aliens are from very different cultures to our own, so actors and screenwriters have the freedom to make them act in whatever way they want. Who's to say that a cyclo wouldn't be a melodramatic drama queen like Turl? I know I'm apologizing for bad acting, but Turl is a fairly effective villain. He may be clueless when it comes to man-animals, but Turl is snide, arrogant, and devious in his dealings with the humans and cyclos. Despite their tall stature, the rest of the Cyclos are not threatening, but Turl is a sinister figure. Travolta's hammy malice was more intimidating than it had any right to be. Now, let's look at the Scientology connections. Battlefield Earth was written by L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology, in 1982. Travolta, a Scientologist since 1975, had wanted to adapt the novel into a film for years, but could not gain financial backing from any major studios. Franchise Pictures finally picked up the project, with Travolta as the star and producer. Former Scientologist Lawrence Wolfersheim claimed that the filmmakers implanted advanced subliminal messages to instill in viewers a revulsion of psychiatry and influence them towards Scientology. Frankly, I don't see it. If I could be serious for a moment, I'm very much a materialist when it comes to the mind. For me, the soul is the sentient, self-aware product of the complex chemical and electrical processes in our brains. In my view, the soul has an organic basis. And if something is wrong with the wiring, a mental disorder will be the result. So the fact that Scientologists hate psychiatry and don't believe in mental illness doesn't make sense to me especially since I have Asperger's Syndrome. As psychiatry is the science of treating mental illnesses, I view it as a beneficial practice. Compared to the movie, the Battlefield Earth novel was far more explicit in its anti-psychiatry message. The ruling caste is known as the Catrists, which sounds similar to the word psychiatrist. 
The catrists treat the rest of the cyclo race as mental patients and use mind-controlling surgery to maintain obedience. A good cyclo mentions churches that meet in secret and, much like the Church of Scientology, are opposed to psychiatry. The film has none of this. The cyclos have no backstory beyond the slow text crawl in the beginning, and the film makes no reference to psychiatry as good or bad. The name cyclo sounds vaguely like psychologist, but that's it. There's no subliminal messaging, it's just bad writing. Battlefield Earth is just a bad, dumb science fiction movie. It's dumber than most, but has the laughable pretension of trying to be the Schindler's List of sci-fi, in Travolta's own words. With great sets, some decent performances, and Travolta acting goofy and intimidating at the same time, Battlefield Earth is a couple of stars better than something completely irredeemable like the Wicker Man remake. Whether you think Scientology is a harmful scam or a legitimate religion, the film doesn't promote the church, so it's safe and inoffensive. It's certainly better than Avatar. The one from Singapore, that is. I liked some parts of the movie, but it is still terrible. I'm giving Roger Christian's Battlefield Earth two and a half stars out of five, which is probably the highest rating it's ever gotten in history. But that isn't saying much. In the pantheon of bad movies, this wasn't too bad. Thank you for watching. And remember, Xenu is watching. Cheers.